After more than 40 years in Idaho politics as a lawmaker, lieutenant governor, and finally 12 years as Idaho's governor, Butch Otter retired from public office earlier this year. But the part-time rodeo cowboy isn't just riding off into the sunset. No, no. Just announced he is joining longtime friends and colleagues, Pat Sullivan and Phil Reberger, in their government relations and advocacy firm, where he will assume a part-time consulting role for the firm and its clients. Governor Otter joins us. You are on three corporate boards, said to be considering a fourth, and now this. So here's my question. Is this what retirement looks like? Well, I hope everybody is lucky as I have uh, been. Uh, I was richly blessed, Mark, when I left office. I uh, decided, Miss Laurie and I decided we're not going to make any decisions for at least three or four months. Mm -hmm. It stretched into a little longer than that, uh, thankfully, because I got a lot more post holes dug out at the ranch. <laughs> and uh, then when we started selecting them, I, I mostly went for natural resources. Mm -hmm. So the mining companies that I'm part of is, uh, is uh, in my wheelhouse. Right. You said that it's been good on your health, too. Your yeah. blood pressure is lower. Yeah. Your heart rate is better. I hope Eric Meyer is watching <laughs> because uh, he has uh, worked for years. But he told me, he says, well, but you think of it. 12 years at 24-7, that's over 105,000 hours right. uh, that you had to answer that phone. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, it's been good. Well, you said that you will not be lobbying for right. Sullivan and Reberger's film firm, whose clients include Blue Cross of Idaho, Idaho School Boards Association, Anheuser-Busch, and more. So what role do you see yourself playing? Well, an advocacy role, obviously, for the success of those clients. Uh, but also, uh, I'm going to be, I created my own little uh, limited liability company. It's Otter at CL, and the CL doesn't stand for Clement Leroy. <laughs> no. It stands for Consulting and Leadership. Okay. And so uh, I've been booking a few corporations on leadership and uh, doing some consulting with business. To me, it will always be Clement Leroy, <laughs> right? That, well, you know, I was born, I was six to nine kids and all the good names were gone by the time I came Everybody along. else had <laughs> yeah. names in the Bible. Yeah. Your mom couldn't find another oh, one. Oh no, there was, there was uh, 13 Pope Clements. Oh. Seven of them were bad though. Okay. <laughs> well, I wanna talk about the bipartisan statewide board that you joined with former Democratic Congressman and your friend Walt Minnick former Democratic gubernatorial challenger, Keith Aldred, Allred, right. who you went head to head, uh, Boise gold medalist, Kristen Armstrong, just to name a few. And it appears to me- A.J. Belukoff's also A.J. Belukoff, this is a total bipartisan board. It appears the mission is to address what they said, uh, what they called incivility and dysfunction in American life and democracy. That is one big ticket item. The National Institute for Civil Discourse was actually started uh, before uh, Gabriella was shot down in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And so the University of Arizona uh, decided they were going to continue with that during her recovery. And so uh, the, just the idea of civil discourse uh, we're going to try to bring some calm mm. and lower the decibels a little bit in our political discourse. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, it's, it's a great opportunity, I think, for a good bipartisan group uh, to address the lack of civility in our public discourse. I heard you said you wanted to work with the Sullivan Reberger firm no more than 35 to 40 hours a week, as well as- No, a month. A, a month, right? Miss <laughs> Laurie, if you're watching, oh, wow. I didn't say a he, week. He, that is the, that's the craziest eyes I've ever seen on the governor. <laughs> he was like, no, no, a month, sorry. Yeah. I'm assuming the rest of the time will be with Miss Laurie on a horse, uh, dropping a line, sipping a bud, now that Anheuser-Busch is one of your clients, uh, hanging out with the grandkids, is that kind of the way you see it? Correct, going? correct, correct, and correct. <laughs> yeah, how does yeah. that sound? No, it, it, it's, it sounds great, you know, and I've got nine grandkids that I'm gonna have an opportunity to spend a little more time with. Right. Um, out of the public view uh, uh, that, that I've been used to, especially the last 18 years, mm -hmm. the six years in Congress and the 12 years as governor. So I'm looking forward to uh, a, a building a good, strong relationship with my family and my extended family. All right. Well, Much stronger. 
Glad to see you. Thank Glad you. to see you're doing great. Uh, Kim, I, I think you'll agree with me. He, he's never looked happier. Yeah, than, very than relaxed right now. and at ease, might <laughs> I say, former governor. He's got his, he's got his white khakis on, <laughs> looking very Larry Gebert. But I don't have my white bucks on. <laughs> no, you don't have your white bucks on. I still That's got right. my boots. He's got his cowboy <laughs> boots. Those are his bucks. <laughs> well, we 